Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing a new Ninjago book that will be released this year. Some of you guys were messaging me asking about this book, so I figured why not jump on the microphone here and just try to answer all of those questions at once. So the book in question is called Ninjago Dragons Rising The New Heroes. This book will be released later this year, and the official description says the following. Three Three original stories featuring exclusive content and focusing on events from the brand new Ninjago storyline, filling in the TV show storyline, a treat for existing and new fans. Revisiting some well-known characters and introducing new heroes, these stories describe their adventures shortly after a mysterious and unpredictable phenomenon known as the merge. Yeah, so essentially what this book is, is it's going to be covering three different storylines. Just judging from the cover here, I feel like one of those will be Wildfire's origin story, which we saw some of in the Dragons Rising season one season itself. Of course, I would love to see more regarding that story, and it feels like this book will be describing more so what happened to Wildfire. You know, maybe even revealing where her pod came from, that would be nice. Either way, it does seem likely that Wildfire's back backstory will be established even more, so that's awesome to see. In terms of what the other two stories could be, well again, just judging by the cover, one of them could be Sora's origin following the merge, maybe exploring how she left Imperium and how she eventually met up with Eren, you know, to get to the point where we saw them during Dragon's Rising Season 1, and also maybe we could get a storyline focusing on Imperium itself, perhaps focusing on Rapton, since he is also on the cover. I think out of all of these potential storylines though, the one that I am most looking forward to is Wildfire's origin story, just because I would like to know more about what happened. Maybe documenting what happened with her before and after the merge, that would be awesome. And with that being said, I do think this book is canon, considering how it does say how they're trying to fill in the gaps that the TV show left, almost as if they are working super closely with the TV show. So yeah, I think we can add this to the collection of canon Ninjago books, filling out the storyline even more. So with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Thank you so much for watching. Just wanted to make a really quick video talking about this upcoming book, just because, like I said, a lot of folks had some questions. Figured I would do my best to answer those questions in today's video. So leave all of your thoughts down below in the comments. How do you feel about this book, and what storylines do you think they should explore? Leave all your thoughts down below, and thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.